Greetings everyone, in this video we'll be looking at NC level 3 probability distributions achievement standard. In this video I'll be focusing on uh, normal distribution, uh, properties of normal distribution and the graph that models uh, uh, this distribution. For this achievement standard you will need to be familiar with uh, two uh, types of data, discrete and continuous. And in my previous videos I've already done the um, discrete um, uh, probability distributions which were binomial and uh, Poisson. If you haven't already, please do uh, check those videos out. And over the next uh, few videos, I'll be focusing on uh, continuous uh, probability distributions. And uh, in this video, I'm uh, looking at a normal distribution. So we'll start by looking at uh, what normal distribution is. It is a continuous uh, probability distribution, as uh, shown on this uh, flow chart here. And uh, this is a uh, most common uh, uh, probability distribution function that you will find. And the normal distribution formula that models this um, uh, distribution is given by um, this formula here. Um, because we'll be using graphics calculator to work out the probabilities, you don't need to uh, worry about um, uh, memorizing this uh, formula. But what uh, this formula is uh, showing you is that uh, it needs uh, two parameters and the two parameters are mean and the standard deviation. So mean is the uh, uh, mu symbol that's shown here and the sigma represents the standard deviation of random variable x and uh, uh, luckily we don't need to um, uh, use this formula because we can rely on graphics calculator to work out the uh, probabilities so you already know that uh, mean is a measure of center and uh, standard deviation is the measure of spread for this achievement standard you will need to be familiar with the uh, properties of um, normal distribution because uh, uh, sometimes you will need to justify the use of normal distribution and uh, you can use some of these. So this one's uh, pretty obvious. The curve is um, bell shaped and then uh, the normal curve is also symmetrical uh, uh, where mean is at the center as shown in this graph here. So the bell shaped curve and the um, central value is the mean value. And the mean, median, and mode are all equal in this um, distribution. The random variable will have infinite uh, values, so you can see that uh, it's symmetrical from the mean, and uh, the values um, continue on either side of the mean, so it can take infinite uh, uh, values on either side of mean. And the fifth one, the area underneath the bell shaped curve, will denote the probability. And the total area under the curve will be equal to 1 because probability will never exceed 1. It lies between 0 and 1. So the total area will be 1 as shown in this graph. So you can see that uh, we have got mean. And this is a mean plus the first standard deviation, mean plus the second standard deviation, mean plus the third standard deviation on the right hand side. Likewise, we've got mean minus the first standard deviation mean minus twice the standard deviation and mean minus three times the standard deviation on the left hand side and uh, just by looking at that you could see that uh, approximately 99 percent of the data will lie within uh, three standard deviation uh, of this uh, bell shaped curve so these are some of the properties that you will need to be familiar with and also you need to know that uh, within uh, the first standard deviation uh, you will see the uh, points of inflection where the slopes change and sometimes you may be given a graph and asked to estimate the standard deviation of this uh, data distribution so you can identify the point of inflection in that case and you can estimate what the uh, standard deviation will be uh, from the uh, we can obtain uh, different normal distributions by varying the uh, parameters, uh, mean and standard deviation. Remember, standard deviation is measure of spread. So if it has got a bigger spread, it will have um, a smaller peak. And if it has got a smaller spread, then it will have a bigger peak because it tries to uh, keep the uh, total area of 1. So if you look at the bell-shaped curve within the first standard deviation, um, we have got 68% of the data and within two standard deviation we have got approximately 95% of the data and then uh, and within uh, three standard deviation of the mean we have got approximately 99% of the data. So from this graph we can clearly see that approximately 68% of the data is within one standard deviation uh, either side of the mean. That means uh, data is likely or probably be in the range of 1 SD. 
and uh, we can also see that uh, approximately 95 percent of the data is within two standard deviations either side of the uh, mean that means uh, data is very likely or very probably be in the range of uh, 2 sd and we can also see that approximately 99 percent of the data is within three standard deviations either side of the mean and this means that uh, data is almost certain to be in this uh, range sometimes in the assessment you'll be asked to uh, draw the normal distribution that uh, will uh, depict the uh, scenario that's given so you will need to have an understanding of this in order for you to sketch the normal distribution curve that will model the question given in context so you can clearly see that within the first uh, is the uh, the shaded part here represents um, uh, 68 percent and within second standard division approximately 95 percent and uh, uh, within three standard division we can see that uh, it covers uh, nearly 99% uh, of the data so in summary we know that uh, normal distribution is bell shaped and is uh, symmetrical from the mean and mean is same as the median which is the 50th percentile and the standard deviation is the measure of spread so in this uh, here we'll look at the distribution of values as a recap so mean goes in the center which uh, captures 50% and then we have got mean plus the first uh, standard division. Remember, I gave you uh, 34%. So 50 plus 34 is uh, 84%. And on the other side is mean minus um, the first standard division. So that's uh, 16th percentile. 54 take away 34%. So that covers 68% uh, of the data, which is uh, in the center. So within uh, two standard division, it covers 95% uh, of the data and uh, mean plus the three standard division and mean minus the three standard division uh, covers 99% uh, of the data so these are the approximate values within uh, each standard division i hope this makes sense i would suggest you can uh, pause the video and take notes as you go so it's really important for you to understand the distribution of values because you can use this to uh, sketch the uh, normal distribution in the next video i'll show you how we can uh, go about sketching the uh, normal distribution so stay tuned for that thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video